Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. Today we're learning about the long spine urchin. And this is the black long spine urchin. Prices on them, you'll spend about 20 bucks. Tank size, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't recommend getting a gigantic one for a small tank though. Care level, super easy. Temper, they are very peaceful. Reef compatible, yes you can put them in a reef tank. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.023 to 1.025. Make sure you keep that right in line. Diet, they are a herbivore. They are a master at eating algae in your tank. Max size, they do get up to 10 inches. Those spines can really stick out. Compatibility, just ask. I would recommend only getting one just because they eat algae so good. Color is that nice black, almost a purple tint, and, a, and their orange eye in the middle. Origin, they are from the Caribbean. Venomous, yes, they are very venomous, so watch out for this. I have been stuck by one trying to catch one. Does not feel good. I had like four or five spines between my fingers. And it feels almost like a wasp sting. And for like the next week, all my fingers were sore. It was not good. And I even had a spike left in me for a while. And it was like another month before my skin pushed that out. So really watch out for that. Worst part about it is like whenever you're going in and doing water changes, you forget he's in there and you don't look before you start. And then you reach back there to get something. And then he's behind that rock and he just, just stabs you really good. It does not feel good. I would definitely recommend that y'all be careful around them. They are great for a peaceful tank, and they're even good for a predator tank. Predators know not to go up and try to eat these things. So if you got like a bad algae problem in your predator tank, and you can't put like cleaner shrimp and snails and stuff in there because they'll just get eaten, try this guy. He really helps out. They are nocturnal. You normally don't see them during the day. But eventually they're going to get big, and so they're going to have to be shown. I mean, there's only so big of tanks that they can hide very good in. Make sure you're not dosing copper, and make sure you have no nitrate spikes. It can really hurt them. Their spikes tend to shed, and they will end up dying. So keep that clean. Keep your water good and healthy. But he's a really, really good algae cleaner. I would definitely recommend that you have plenty of algae for him to eat. And if he does end up making your tank spotless and you still want to keep them, make sure you're feeding him pieces of algae. Maybe get your little clip and throw it down at the bottom for him to find and eat. Because a lot of times with urchins, whenever they run out of food and they're not being supplemented, they tend to go towards your coral that kind of looks like grass, like star polyps and encrusted gorgonia, things like that. And he will eat them, so watch out for that. But he's really cool. They do get big pretty quick. I know normally we get some in the shop that are about three to four inches long and then within probably six to eight months people are calling like yo this dude's too big for my tank because the spikes are already at like eight to ten inches so beware of that he does get big very fast and he's a great algae eater make sure you're making sure that he is full and not eating your coral hope you all have a good day make sure to like and subscribe let me know other videos you want to do and i will see y'all later we just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I can't thank y'all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish. And here we are a thousand deep and it feels great. So to celebrate for the whole month of June, every single day, I'm going to put out a new episode of All About, about some kind of fish some kind of crustacean, maybe different things on how to take care of stuff. But just either way, every single day, you're going to be getting a video from me. And it's going to be awesome. Maybe even more videos. So here we go. Stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a 1,000 subscribers.